Hello, in this video, we're going to find this limit. We have the limit as x approaches one of two minus x over x minus one squared. So always when finding limits, the first thing you should do is just plug in the number to see what happens. If you do that in this case, you get two minus one over one minus one squared. So you get one over zero, game over. So this limit uh, is not going to exist. So the question is, what do we write? Do we write D and E? Do we write infinity? or do we write negative infinity? Well, whenever you get infinity or negative infinity, the limit does not exist, except this is more descriptive than writing D and E. So we should always try to write these symbols versus this if possible. So let's go ahead and just see what happens intuitively here. So intuitively, in the numerator, you've got two minus one, which is basically one. So you're gonna have a positive number in the numerator. In the denominator, you're approaching one. So here's one on the number line and then you're squaring the result. So for example, if I approach from the left, I'm getting really, really close to one from the left. So you might get something like 0 0.999999, you know, at some point, or then 0 0.9999999999. It gets infinitely close to one, right? So if you take a number that's really close to one, and you subtract one, and you square it. So you would get like something like this. You get something small squared, right? So it's, it's super small. All right, super small, All right? So when you do something like this, you know, you get stuff that's really, really small. So the idea is that we're gonna have a really small number on the bottom. Likewise, if you're approaching from this direction, um, maybe something like 1.01 .01 minus one squared, it's also gonna be super small, right? So the bottom is super small and it's positive because it's squared, that's the key. So you have a super, small positive. So whenever you have a number over a super small number, you get a really big number. So as x gets closer and closer to one, this fraction gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and so it approaches infinity. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.